And welcome back. In this section, we are going to work with the flow of our code. Now, what does that mean? Basically, so far, we always executed code from the start to the finish. Meaning, if these are different lines of code, we are starting all the way at the top and we are going down line by line. Which works fine by itself, but it is fairly limiting. Because sometimes we want to do something else. For example, we might only want to run code if a certain condition is true, or we might want to run code multiple times, or we might want to run code for every item inside of a list or a tuple or something like that. And all of these things can be done quite easily. Python has a lot of ways to control the flow of your code. Although to understand how it is going to work, we need to understand one really important concept, and that is how Python groups chunks of code together. You're going to see in a second why that is important. But the way Python groups code together is by using indentation. Let's say we only want to run some code if the condition is true. And this white line here is the left side of our code editor, just to better illustrate how we are using indentation. The basic problem we have now is if we have code below this condition. How do we tell Python that it belongs to the condition and isn't something that's independent of the condition? For that, we need indentation. Anything that is indented by one indentation after this line belongs to this if condition, meaning these three lines here all belong to this if condition. I think I actually added a bit more text here. Yeah, there we go. Indentation determines where the code belongs to. If we added some other code in here, like line three and line four, those would be independent of each other. They would run no matter what happens, whereas line one, line two, and line three would only run if this condition is true. If it was false, then none of this would be run, but line four and line five would still run meaning lines that are not indented do not belong to that if statement. I hope this makes sense. Once you understand the system, it makes a lot of sense. And indentations? Indentations in general in Python are incredibly important. You are going to see them all the time. But first of all, once we understand indentation, there are four major ways to determine the flow of the code. The first one is if, elif, and else. These are different kind of if conditions to run code if certain conditions are true. We are going to talk about this one in the next part. Besides that, we have match. This one is kind of like if, but it's more designed for specific value to find one very specific condition. Then we have while, and this one just repeats code as long as a certain condition is true. And finally, we have for. And this one is about running some code for every item inside of a container. Let's say you have a list with one, two, and three, and you want to run some code for every item inside of the list. A for loop for that would be perfect. And those are the four major concepts that we are going to learn. There are also a few more extra tools you can use, like breaking a certain kind of statement or skipping to a next part in a while loop I will talk about those at the appropriate point. So I guess with that, let's start with the first major part.